Hey folks, this is Kurt Papke coming to you with another iMovie tutorial. Today's topic is how to make a stop motion effect using iMovie. This is a feature that's available in some high-end video editors like Adobe Premiere Pro, but uh, today I'm going to show you with just a few simple tricks how you can achieve exactly the same thing in iMovie. So why would you want to do the stop motion effect? Stop motion animation is kind of an interesting thing to do. You can see an example of one that I made of a model of my car driving and up and down some hills. But it's very labor intensive and uh, very time consuming to do. But you can take a regular video, preferably something with a little action to it, and uh, turn it into something that looks very much like stop motion in just a few minutes. You can also add effects to it, uh, such as vignetting and so on, that I'll show you how to do, that'll give you kind of an old silent movie look to it. So without further ado, here's how to create the stop motion effect in iMovie. Let's go ahead and get started. I've already uh, imported the clip that I'm gonna use for this tutorial into the media library here. And it's just uh, some mules going down the South Kaibab Trail in the Grand Canyon. So the, uh, the first step is to put this on the timeline. And there we go. And our next step is I'm going to break this clip into three pieces. If you recall, the shortcut key for uh, clip break is Command B. So I'm positioning it right here. Command B. And then... Uh, I'm going to make another break near the end, Command B. And the reason for this is um, I want the first part of this, uh, this video and the last part of this video to be unchanged. And all I want the stop motion effect on is the middle third or so of this particular clip. So uh, here we have our three pieces. Uh, we're, all, we're all broken up. And uh, now we're going to do something kind of uh, unusual here. And uh, the reason for this will become apparent later. We're going to go out and we're going to duplicate this project. Okay, so now we have a second project with exactly the same contents. And what I can do here is select the beginning and the end and delete those. So now all I have left is my middle section. So we'll select that, and then we will go into the, uh, the speed control here, select our speed to be custom, and we'll change it from 100% to 1000%. And so that will speed it up by a factor of 10. So now instead of a uh, almost a 20 second clip, we have a two second clip. So let's go ahead and export that to a file. And uh, the name doesn't have to be anything special here. Stop motion effect two is the name of our clip. And while that's exporting, we don't, one of the little known things about iMovie is that it is multitasking. So while this is happening, uh, we can go ahead and uh, uh, bring up our original project here. Okay, we're all done. Our little uh, pie chart is complete. So let's go ahead and import that little sped up clip there that we just made. There it is, stop motion effect two. We'll go ahead and import, and here it is. And let's go ahead and uh, bring that onto the timeline. And now we're going to uh, get rid of the speed up. So now we're gonna select it, go back into our speed control, custom, and instead of 100%, we're gonna select 10%. Okay, now we have our, our clip all set, and because we have these three original components left here, um, I can move this over the top of my original segment with perfect precision 
without any any errors or anything uh, in the size. Uh, this should line up uh, absolutely perfectly. The only issue with this is the sound from this clip is going to be distorted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this original clip in place and then the the uh, the clip that I've sped up and slowed down, I'm going to go ahead and mute that. So the sound of my bass clip will come through here. So uh, now if I just play this back, you can see as soon as I transition onto the center here, I have this nice uh, stop motion effect, which is what I was going for. Now I can also apply other effects to this now that I have it here. So let's go ahead and bring up our clip filter and we'll do Silent Era. So now uh, when we transition, we not only have this halting effect or stop motion effect, but we also have a vignette here with dark edges, black and white, and these little uh, things that look like uh, photo defects. And because we have this as a cutaway, uh, we can actually apply a somewhat smooth transition. So let's go ahead and select our, uh, our stop motion effect <clears throat> and we'll go into cutaway and we can add in, uh, let's do a one second fade here since uh, we want to be able to see what's going on. So if we go ahead and play it back, you can see it kind of does kind of a gradual uh, fading transition uh, from the normal clip to this uh, old time effect. And then uh, as we go towards the second part here, you can see that it'll do the gradual transition back again. So there we have it. Uh, we're all good to go. Uh, we can go in and apply other effects uh, up here. If we don't like the, uh, the black and white look, we could uh, go ahead and use uh, uh, a Western effect or a vintage effect or one of these others that are in here and um, um, do whatever we wish. So there you have it. Uh, there's, this is the simple way of doing a slow motion effect uh, in iMovie. Thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this video tutorial was helpful, please click like or subscribe below to my channel. Thanks again for watching.